Hi Sagittarius and welcome to your entire video scope for December 2015 by Alma. We are going to do things a little bit differently today because I'm trying to find time uh, to also do the predictions for next year 2016. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm simply going to open four cards and see what important messages uh, the guides have for you in uh, December 2015. This is going to be a very brief general reading, so if you do need to have a private reading with me, you know how to find me by now uh, through my website amalightworker.com or through my email amalightworker at gmail.com. Again, uh, uh, you may reach out to me if you need me to do a tarot reading uh, for you, a private session, or open your Akashic Records, a healing session with me, etc. etc. So, without further ado, let's open the cards. And that reminds me that it is birthday season for you, so happy birthday! And let's see what's in the store for you. Okay. So, the first card that I have for you is the Nine of Wands. And the Nine of Wands to me denotes that maybe at some point you are impatient to uh, finish uh, a project, uh, uh, to communicate the news, is like for about to give up. So whatever it is that you are applying yourself and you are working so hard for, is like you are almost there, don't give up just now, but rather be persistent and be uh, perseverant. So the ones also have a lot to do with uh, communication. So maybe something um, could be communicated to you that uh, at the very last moment gives you a boost and it gives you an inspiration not to give up just yet because you are far about to achieve this great success that you are so hardly working towards. It could be that maybe uh, something in the way you communicate with others in here is changing. Uh, so a lot of communication improvements are in the making for you in uh, 2015. So you are learning new ways or more effective ways in order for you to get your message across and to be understood by uh, others. So definitely better are communicating uh, with others, but yet again, Whatever it is that you are working on on 2015, don't give up just yet because the rewards are just around the corner. This is like one uh, last push, one uh, uh, final push, even though it could be very intense uh, sometimes. The next card you have the Hanged Man. And the Hanged Man to me is a card that denotes being trapped into uh, your own uh, fear. So you are trying, maybe because it is your birthday uh, season, like uh, you are far about to celebrate your birthday. And uh, also, you know, you have to make a new plan for the new year. So maybe some of these plans that you plan to have for yourself, you need to change your own perspective because maybe you don't trust yourself maybe there's a lot of fears insecurities and how you are going to proceed uh, from here so generally the advice is that whatever you need to do if you are true to your heart if you are authentic uh, to who you are and to your true desires then you can change this perspective of, of luck once you start being more confident in yourself and you re release yourself from uh, fear then anything and e everything is possible for you uh, to achieve in any areas of your life maybe you have a new idea but you are afraid of or a new inspiration and your passion you are afraid how you are going to uh, make this happen how to follow through that so again release yourself from your fear and be authentic and true to your heart what your heart desires and be authentic to who you are and that's how you're going to find a success uh, the next card you have the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups to me denotes this is a sudden good news uh, that could be coming your way. Maybe uh, through uh, Pisces, maybe through uh, Cups are Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. That can be the Sun sign, the Rising sign. Or the moon sign so this would be also a great opportunity and offering uh, uh, coming to you through uh, this um, uh, Knight of Cups it could be a proposition uh, of some sort uh, for some of you this could be an authority uh, figure coming uh, not necessarily an authority figure, but a person of affluence coming in your life to make at least one of these dreams uh, possible uh, for you. So great opportunities uh, coming uh, to you. Maybe you could be the one bringing to others a lot of uh, joy, but also uh, 
buying something that you are very pleased of because you are buying this important stuff that maybe it was way too expensive but then you were able to get it at a bargain uh, price so generally uh, I keep sensing that uh, you are going to be the one Sagittarius during this holiday season to have great luck into uh, buying gifts, purchasing anything that you want at a very uh, good price, maybe maybe at a bargain uh, price. Also, your intuition and your sensitivity is very highlighted. So maybe you could go through a phase when uh, others really um, uh, bother you or you are very sensitive toward noises. Uh, maybe you want to be loud at some point and then at some other point of uh, December you want to be uh, going within and be quiet so uh, ups and downs are related to that so the next card that you have you have the seven of wands and the seven of wands again is a card that denotes after some struggles something that uh, you have to deal with it this is a success so it won't come to you without some struggles so again I uh, the first card has to do with communication and the very last one again has a lot to do with your communication productivity and your personal strength so some sort of a communication problem is being resolved between you and someone close to you that maybe uh, they're not willing to collaborate and to talk about an important subject or uh, maybe they don't want to be uh, reached so anything that is related to that this is success because this is uh, uh, success especially related to all of these uh, matters that I just uh, mentioned so again these are this is just a general reading however let me open cards from a different deck let me see what other advice could be available uh, for you from the guides so December 2015 and I'm using the dolphins and mermaids deck from Doreen Virtue so you have wait let me show you the card I'm going to read the card to you. Don't rush into action right now. Buy your time for better success. So some of you are have this uh, new beginning or new idea. You want to start something new. So uh, make sure that before you jump into anything, you have all the information that you need, but also the timing is at an essence in order for you to achieve success. So... Just because I got the card that says wait, that doesn't mean that uh, everybody needs to wait in order for you to have this new beginning. Maybe enter a new relationship, communicate a good news, reach out to someone, or maybe, uh, you know, moving forward the, with uh, important um, trades, negotiations, and all of that. So the majority of you, I keep getting the feeling that you need to be very uh, careful and plan everything step by step. Don't just go without having the, the proper knowledge into anything that you need to start. For some other ones, it can be timing is at an essence because some opportunities will be available to you just like that. Like either take it now because an hour from now or the next day won't be available to you. So some of you... Uh, need to benefit from this and when you see that wonderful opportunity just uh, grab it because it won't be uh, available uh, for so long so again as I said this was simply a very very gen uh, general general uh, reading Oh, and I also forgot to mention that through this card, I also get the message that some of you could be, you know, getting like a, a reading for the first time or doing something spiritual for the first time or getting some uh, treatment like Reiki treatment or anything like that for the first time. So for the very first time, maybe doing something that uh, getting a spiritual service, uh, so to speak, for the first time. So again, this was an extremely very generalized reading for December 2015. If you do need to reach, uh, to reach out to me, for a personal reading, I may be reached again through my website amalightworker.com or through my email amalightworker at gmail.com. So again, happy holiday season, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year.